So today I'm reviewing a game called Gallergy. This is a weird game. That's really all I can say. So with that being said, let's just dive right into the action. So you get a pretty simple title screen there. It just has the name Gallergy and has some uh, settings you can configure. Once you press OK, you are thrown right into the game. So the first thing you'll notice here is that you appear to be in some kind of art gallery. There's art all over the place and it's in a bunch of random colors. So it's basically like abstract art almost. Another thing you'll notice by walking around is that this art gallery is huge. It doesn't even appear to have an end to it. Well, that's because this art gallery is randomly generated. Every time you start up the game, the art in this gallery will be different. Now, judging by the looks of it, it appears as though you can only walk around and just admire the art here. Well, that's actually not what you're supposed to do in this game. Because, if you walk up to the art, like so, which I'm gonna do uh, right now... Actually, before I show you guys what happens when you walk right up to the art, um, I advise you turn your volume down right now. Just trust me on this, okay? Turn your volume down right now. Anyway, here's what happens when you walk up to the artwork. Yeah, that happens. I told you to turn your volume down. Anyway, if you walk up to the art, all the colors in the art gallery will change depending on the art you walked into, and the layout of the art gallery will change as well. So it's almost like it takes you to an entirely different world, kind of like Super Mario 64, how when you jump into a painting it takes you to a different world. Now you do need to be careful, however, because in this weird realm of eye-straining colors, there are enemies here. Well, kind of like enemies, I guess, but basically these weird things with weird heads and faces and whatnot. If you run into them, they don't kill you, but basically you get thrown out of the, uh, the world here. The music in these weird worlds are also weird. Take a listen. So the music in this game is composed of mostly whistling noises, at least that's what I find it sounds like with the occasional kick and snare, and I think the music might also be randomly generated in this game because the music is never the same when you're going into these uh, weird worlds here of abstract art. Sometimes the music will be composed of only low frequency tones, which means you won't even be able to hear the music unless you wear headphones. So for instance, I'm in this really dark blue place right here, of course, this is just so fantastic, just roaming through an art gallery at night time like pitch black here. Hope no monsters come out and get me. Now if you're not wearing headphones you might not be able to hear the music in the background but there is in fact music playing. The music is basically a single low frequency tone with no other instruments playing in the background whatsoever. which just adds to the scariness. If you get close to one of these weird creatures here the music will actually intensify. Oh look, everything's upside down now. Great. Anyway, onto the gameplay mechanics here. So, there is actually a reason why you have to go into these uh, paintings here. When you go into these paintings, there is an actual objective you can complete, but don't necessarily need to complete. And that objective is, you need to find a child. So in all of these wacky worlds here, there is a child roaming around here. And basically, you just need to find him. And there you go, that's actually the child right there, in white. So basically, I just need to walk up to him, and then I'll be transported back to the main lobby, I guess you could call it, of uh, this game here. So just walk up to him, and there we go. We're back here, and there he is. So there's the child that you found. As you can see, he takes on the appearance of the painting you entered. And if you walk around, he'll actually follow you around. But don't worry, though. He's, he's completely harmless. In fact, you can actually walk right through him. If you enter another painting, he'll actually come with you. Well, at least you're not necessarily going to be feeling alone and isolated anymore in these weird worlds here, with a bunch of monsters roaming around. There'll be at least somebody following right beside you here that doesn't want to kill you, so that's good. So in this magenta world here, I found yet another child, so I have two of them now. So that one's, uh, magenta. So yeah, that's basically what you have to do. You have to go and find a bunch of children trapped in these paintings, I guess. The exact amount of children you need to find is five. Once you've found five children, something will happen, but I'm not going to say what it is just yet. Also, you can tell if there is a child nearby because the music will slightly change. If at any point in the game an instrument that sounds similar to a bell 
starts fading in, then that means there's a child nearby. Also, these children are, like, fearless. Seriously, look at that. They're not even afraid of the monsters here. So I'm in yet another upside-down world here. Found another child. He's, uh, he has, uh, some weird colors on him. After that, I found a fourth one. He has a bunch of weird colors on him. Orange and yellow and green and whatnot. And then after that, I found a fifth child. Now, this is what happens when you find the fifth child. So as you can see, this thing appears on your screen that says diversity. 53.20%. I'm not entirely sure what that means exactly. Maybe it's the diversity of the colors of the children here or something? I'm, I'm really not sure. Also, you'll notice that all the paintings turn brown. After a few more seconds, the screen will fade to white, and then the game starts over. So basically, it drops you back into the game, and as you can see, the children are not with you anymore. They're completely gone. So I guess the goal of the game is to find all five children while trying to get the highest percentage of diversity possible. I guess that's what the objective is, so it's maybe it's possible that I can get a higher diversity by going into uh, different kinds of paintings here or something. I'm really not even sure. I'm not even sure how this game works, to be honest. Wow, these things right here kind of look like mushrooms almost. Looks like I'm in a uh, wide open field here, actually. I don't think I'm in an art gallery anymore. It's not even a ceiling. And there's a giant enemy over there. Yeah, sometimes the enemies will be small, but other times they'll be, like, huge. So, that's another thing you need to watch out for. Just trying to find the child here, though. And I think that's really all I have to say about Gallergy. So basically, in this game, you just have to jump through these paintings here, go and find five children while uh, avoiding the gigantic monsters here. And this one's not even attacking me for some reason. But yeah, just go find five children and, I guess, try to get the highest percentage of diversity possible. So, I guess that's the goal of the game, really. And yeah, that's pretty much Gallergy for you. To tell you the truth, this game actually reminds me quite a bit of LSD Dream Emulator. Remember when I said that uh, e the game Evil was basically a modern-day version of LSD Dream Emulator? Well, I think a better example of a modern-day LSD Dream Emulator would be this game. Because this game pretty much is like LSD Dream Emulator in terms of just how weird the game is and all the weird things that happen in this game, so... Yeah. Anyway, if you want to download the game, the link's in the description. And I think that'll pretty much do it for this uh, post-commentary review video here. By the way, I just want to apologize for the really crappy frame rate, but perhaps really had a lot of difficulty recording this game for some reason. I have no idea why, but... Yeah, I apologize for the really crappy frame rate here, but hopefully it doesn't bother you too much. I mean, you can still see what's going on in the game anyway, so I don't really think the frame rate matters too much here in this situation. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. So thank you for watching. Feel free to like or favorite this video or subscribe. Also check out my Twitter and Google Plus page. Links are in the description as always. That's it for now, so I'll see you guys in the next video I make. Later.